Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Stacy, and tonight we are going to unbox my Palatful Packs box. I resubscribed um, to Palatful Packs recently and uh, yeah, I'm excited to dive right in. It does look like coffee got spilled all over my box, so hopefully nothing got ruined. At any rate, we're going to just dive right in. Ooh, Tombow markers are see already. Very autumn colors. Let's bend that a little bit so it'll stay open. We have our autumny wormies. Let me get a box that I can start saving these again. Let's start in with the Tombow markers. These are alcohol-based gray tones. Um, I love Tombow markers. So we got we got those from pale gray into a dark gray. I don't think it's black. Well, we'll find out. Ooh, there's our sticker. Cute, cute. Oh, right. Oh, a whole selection. Oh, nice. I love Tombow markers. Oh wow. Check that out. We got pinks, blues. Grays. Well, that's nice. I actually love Tombow markers, and I left my few that I had in storage when I moved here. So this is nice. This this is gonna be fun. And then here we have graphics fine liner. Um, we got a whole pack of them. Yeah. I actually need needed fine liners as well. So we have new fine liners. Oh, those are nice. I do like a nice gray barrel. These are graphics fine liners. Uh doesn't say whether or not they're waterproof on there. Um no, 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 no. Light fast, low odor, water based pigment ink. No bleeding. Well, we'll have to try it. It doesn't say that they're um, waterproof, so they may not be. The Tombow markers are not that I know from experience, um, so these probably aren't as well, which will be good to know, so I don't use them um, for a base drawing for watercolors. Right, and then it looks like we have marker paper by Strathmore. I do like Strathmore stuff. Make sure we don't miss anything. So this is our marker box. Oops. I'll have to get online to see what our prompts are. Let's close this up the right way so I don't spill those everywhere. Because I will. So this is our set that we got. Um, this is 24 sheets of marker paper. Marker paper is generally thin and smooth. Oh, that's thicker than the stuff I have. Oh, that's actually nicer than the stuff I have. It feels like, almost like Bristol paper, just a little thinner. <coughs> so that's nice. Let me go to my Palatful Packs account. And we will log in and go to this month's pack. And that will tell us what our prompts are for this month's premiere pack. Um, so we got the pink, gray, and blue tone set of Tomo markers, um, the Marabou, Marabou Graphic Fine Liner set, and the Strathmore 400 Series pad. Um, and our prompts are Wolf, Eye, Flamingo, and Floral. So we could do something with that. Let's swatch out our stuff real quick, because that's always fun, right? To do a little swatch. We'll open up our markers. My granddaughter's going to go crazy over these when she sees them. 
Um, oh, down here. I'm like, which end should I open? Doesn't really matter. Because... Is it taped? It is. Everything's taped. Tape is the enemy. <laughs> okay. Let me just put this up here. Is that taped all the way across? It is. Gosh darn it. It'd be easier to just cut it open. They taped everything. They, there's like a big piece of tape across the whole back. That's frustrating. Alright, hold on. I'm going to unbox these. They're apparently taped. Okay, I got this figured out. I'm just cutting across the top. I don't save the boxes anyways. Um, I'll put these in my marker drawers when I'm done. Um, and here are our blues. So there's our blues, pinks, and grays. This is a really nice color combination as well. Um, I'll just set these back here for now. Put our scissors away. Pull out our liners. Okay. So here we have, um, let's go over this way. There's the brush one, which is Oh good, it's got a nice bendy tip on it. Nice coverage. And with marker paper, I guess if you let it dry, it does look a little textured though. Um, I think it takes time to dry too. Um, you can apparently go over and get like your depth of color by layering All right and this is a really nice pen and I can get some really good marks with this yeah okay cool I do love a nice brush pen I like the tip of that it's just the right softness for me and this is size what is the size what's on the cap this is the 0 0.8 and on the side, if you use these light and on the side, you can get pretty fine lines with them. It's just a matter of practicing, um, but it is a nice wide line for getting those bold, bold marks in. This is the 0 0.4. Once again, you can get pretty fine lines if you use light handed on the side, or you can get nice dark lines like that. I, I like a good fine liner. Um, 0.5 is my go to size, but a 3 to a 5 is perfect. Um, threes tend to be a little too small. This is a 0 0.2, and I can already tell. Um, this is super small, and if you put it on its side, you can get some really fine lines. Um, but once again, it's I don't care for anything smaller than a 3 because I feel like I'm going to bend it. It doesn't feel sturdy enough, but um, I do use them all. I've used all of them um, whenever I get a pack. All right, let's do our blues. Is the color name on these? No. And it's not on either end. Oh, they're just numbered, apparently. Dual tip. 
markers, brush and chisel, a nylon brush tip allows easy transaction from thick to thin, lines, uh, even color, fast drying ink with no smudging or smearing, we shall see, a single ink reservoir perfect for perfect ink match using both tips, um, and they're permanent. What does that mean? I don't think they're light fast. Uh, most alcohol markers are. These are water based. No, these are alcohol based. Yeah. Most alcohol based markers are not going to be light fast at all. Um, so you want to use them for art that you're going to scan to use that way or um, in a sketchbook. I usually use them for Oh yeah, that, that oh, marker paper makes all the difference in the world. That's nice. That goes down almost like a um what do you call it? I like the brush part better than the chisel, but that's just me. We got our chisel and if you use the tip of the chisel you can get, you know, some fine lines. Um, decent coverage and if we let it dry a bit we can go over it again and see get some really nice coverage does it match the cap though so this is number P I'm gonna write it down with this this is number P whoopsie four nine one Okay, and then we'll do the other light one, and you don't know until you put it down whether or not it's actually going to be light, so there's our cap. Is this the same number? Nope, this is P451. If we go fast, the I've discovered with my limited use of markers that it, the slower you go, the better coverage you get. Um, like that. Um, the faster you go, the more splotchy and the lighter it is. So, yeah. That's this color. There's our chisel. And once again, you can get some pretty fine lines with the chisel end. You can with the with this as well with the tip. You can get some super fine lines with that soft tip. They do get smushy, smushy pretty fast though. And that was P four five one. P451. And then this one is our next darker one. P5. Ooh, 452. That's a big jump. 51 to 52. That's a big jump. It's a nice color. Um, we'll test them and see how, um, if they're going to be waterproof. Probably not. P452. Okay. And then we'll do this one, which is super dark. And you can get it fairly light. No, I guess not. It's nice and dark. Like that. This is P476. Ooh, 
pickups. P four seven six. This will help me later when I'm deciding which color I want to use. Usually I will have a scrap piece of paper off to the side to test my colors on. This is P555. Woo! That's very purpley. Ultramarine. That's what color that reminds me of. Do a lighter touch. Yeah, that's pretty dark. All right. This was P555. P555. Okay. Now that I've got two lines under those, my OCDs like Wait a minute, what are you doing? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, let's line up our pinks. What well, appears to be light to dark like this. Yeah, and then we'll light up our grays the same way. What well, appears to be light to me. Light to dark like that. Okay. Let's do our pinks. This is very light. I used up my last super light. Woo, pink. All right, see? I'm under the illusion it's super light. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that's nice. I was worried with that color being that, that it was going to be... But it does not match the cap at all. I mean, if you go light, 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 light handed, it can be close, but... Yeah, that's a pretty pink. I like that. And you can layer all your colors, of course, and make other colors. Um, so, let's get cruising with our swatches here. Traditional wedge. It's actually a pretty big wedge tip. And the... Um, brush pen is pretty big. Um, traditional, I mean, it's what they are, um, Tompa markers. It's what I expect from them. Um, let's see, the light pink was P800. I like that one. I'm going to put a star. I really, really like that one. And then, did I get these mixed up? I did. Okay, so. 5-2 goes here. There we go. Okay. And this one, I guess we could figure it out, right? P703. Give it a second to soak into the paper and dry. Make sure it's not smudging. And then we'll pop our cap back on. And we'll test this out and see if it's going to be... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that is bright. Wow. Yeah, those are going to smudge pretty bad. Good to know, though, right? That is... See, the more you put down, the more... But they dry. Look how smooth they dry. That's nice. Let's see what color this... It's got an orangey look to it for me. And just see how it looks once it's dried down. Okay. Because markers can shift when they dry down too. Alright, this one is P743. It's pretty close to that one. But I suppose the more you layer it, the more it's very orange based. I'm not digging it. Okay. Not really one for orange based pinks, but that's just me. So I won't use it layering 
I won't layer them like that. Whoops, I forgot the number. P743. P743. There we go. Okay, and this one is five five seven five five. See, I'm leaning more towards these kinds of pinks. So these, or the deep berries. I do love a nice deep berry color. This isn't bad. It's just intense, right? This is super intense. Okay, and then, so that one was five, five, seven, five, five, and this one is, how dark that is, uh, seven, five, seven, Ooh, see that's right up my alley, that berry color, yeah, I like that, maybe we'll do... That's nice. Yeah. I dig that. So these two are right where I like to be. I think it's nice and rich. It's a rich color. I like that. P. Seven five seven. That's good to know what numbers you like and what color, because then you can, because Tombow markers, I think you can get open stock. Um, I'm gonna put a star on that one as well. Don't mind my stars; they're more squiggles than stars. <coughs> All right. Where should we put our gray? Ooh. Good to know. Good to know. They're all going to bleed through. Alright, so let's watch our gray on this sheet. But I want something... Oh, ooh, it bled right through with that heavy application on the pinks. It bled through two sheets of paper. Bummer. Um, let's see. Do I have a piece? <coughs> I do. I have a piece of paper somewhere that I can... I want a pretty smooth sheet. There was this A5 drawing paper. I have a couple sheets to tuck between. Yeah, and we'll, we'll swatch our grays on this side. Okay, so here's our light gray. Ooh, going in with that chisel. Yeah, and I use these light, light grays for shadows on my drawings. These light grays are dreamy. Yeah, I like that. I guess you can get pretty dark with it. That's nice. Alright, this one is P, PN95. P N nine five. That one's one for me. I like it. Okay. And then are these all PNs? Yeah, PN six five. Ooh. Also very nice. I just yeah. That's a good one too. If you hear giggling, it's my daughter and her boyfriend. PN65. then I like all the grays. I just don't um, tend to. Ooh. 7-5. Oh, this is a good one too. Yeah, I like that. Very close to the 6-5, right? 
and you can go real light if you use light hand. So you can give a pretty light application if you want to. So that was um, PN55. And then the last one is PN35. Oh, that's just a dark gray. I was expecting it to come out black. That is a nice gray, though. Very charcoal reminiscent, right? If you use the light hand, but it can go pretty dark if you want it to. I love how they're drying on the paper. I was expecting them to be splotchy. And they're not bad. This is PN35. PN35. So there's all of our colors. Let me sketch something out, something cool. Um, and then we will. I usually tend to stick my sticker, my palette full pack sticker. This is a habit I've gotten into. On to either here, and I will leave the swatch sheets in the pad, or right on the cover, so I know where I got this pad, because this is not a size of pad that I would buy for myself, nor is it a, um, I don't really buy marker paper. So I'd be wondering later why I bought marker paper. Like, why do I have marker paper? Oh yeah, I got it in my art box. And I'll just put this little guy right here. Perfect. Just like that. Alright, let me draw something out. See, even that light application bled right through. So that's something to note with marker paper. You want to put something underneath so that you don't, you know, waste your paper. And these are pretty sturdy. And I would use Bristol Paper Smooth for marker work as well. It doesn't absorb too much ink. And it works really well. Okay, I'll stop here and let me sketch something out and then we'll color it in together. Okay guys, so I took the prompts. Um, ooh, I just found that out. That's alright. I'll just tuck them back in when we're done. Um, wolf and flower and put them together. This is a wolf howling and then there's a bit of a moon up here. And these are um, flowers. They're called... Um, lupine flowers so yeah that's what I did we're gonna go ahead and ink it in first and then go oh oh wait maybe we should do the marker first because this was kind of bleedy right let's, let's take the heat tool to it really quickly so if you have headphones on heads up this could be a little loud what I'd like to do is draw it all in and then marker it but if that's going to if it's going to bleed around a lot I'd rather ink after oh nice okay cool yay all right so we're going to ink first and I wanted to try I have a paintbrush over here so I'm going to go I'm going to have a thousand of them over here let's do scrap one a little bit of water and these are already dry so oh all right huh they lock in on watercolor paper interesting that's interesting usually I could get the tombos to move around with water all right cool good to know all right first let's ink it in I'm gonna I think I like to use the brush one I think for that's the O2 brush. And then the three, that's the eight. That's a two, the four. Alright, so I'm gonna use the brush pen and the number four for um, inking in. That. 
I drew this in with just a regular number two pencil so that I could come in and ink it. And this is normally how I would uh, do an ink piece as well. I would come in and uh, get in like this. Alright, and then her eye. dark. We're just going to quickly ink this in. That. Get a little ear in. This is where there would be shadow. Like that. And then like that. Fairly dark under her ear or his. I don't know why I think of this one as feline. Feline. <laughs> She'd be very insulted. Um, female. But that's the way I'm thinking about it. Is she's female. Come in here. Get in. Shadows. Her wild hair. That. Tooth. White shine on that mouth. A little bit of dark right there. That. And then around that eye. Stippling like that. Okay, we'll leave her like that. And then. Alright, I wanna. I really wanna. Get this all. Actually, I wanted to use the brush pen for this so that it was less controlled. And more natural lines. Kind of like that. Yeah, I like that better. Okay. They used to be pretty loose as they come down. That. that around like this and then like that.
that. That. Step there, 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 there. This one down here flows like that. That one there. Like that. And I do get pretty quiet, sorry, when I'm inking in. Um, just force of habit to, to concentrate. Um, trying to go fast so that the video is not too long. are the leaves coming like that. Up. Not worried about making it exactly right. It is just a sketch. But I did want it to feel a little sketchy. I like that ink, that messy ink look. Yeah. <coughs> 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 
Okay. I think I should start over here and work my way down so I'm not dragging my hand through the ink while it's still wet. This is a nice ink pen too. Digging it. Oh my tummy. Sorry if you could hear that. I just ate dinner and things are burbling about. Had teriyaki. Teriyaki and water. Um, like that. Let's see. That. Um, there's a pedal back here. Kind of digging this. Sorry about my nose. It's I'm still a little clogged up. This is the stem. I'm just gonna ink that right in. This one's coming around this way, like that. Okay, this one ends here. And inking it in so we ink in all the stuff we can start with the wolf and then do this same um, steps with the markers and then we don't have to worry about um, dry time for the markers because it's had you know a minute to to dry before we get to it so planning that out is um, ideal when you're doing ink marker over an ink drawing. Okay, this comes around like this. See, line direction matters because it tells your eye which way things are flowing. Okay, like that. And then we've got the tip of this flower. Like that. And like that. Kind of just Catching it in, keeping it loose. That also helps with um, the amount of time it takes you to do the drawing. The pencil drawing for me takes more time because I'm I'm going slow and I'm really thinking about placement and um, that kind of stuff with the inking in because I've already made all those decisions. I can just um, chill and have a little bit of fun with the, the process. Like that. Like that. My nose is stuffed up again. I need to take more medicine. And there's these petals there. And 
And it doesn't need to be a lot of lines either, just a few. I'll give you what you need. Almost there, we can start our markering in. That should go pretty quickly. I'm not a big marker person, so I'm not going to do um, tons of markering. But I would like to, I want that to be much finer than it is, but that's alright. There we go. We are all inked in. I'm not going to put an ink line around our moon. Um, because I'm thinking I'm going to go in with this light color and just kind of indicate the moon like that. Soft. Yeah, I dig that. Okay, so that's that. Also with this, I'm going to go in with, I want, yeah, my reference photo of the wolf. So that I don't get too carried away. And she is, she has lots of browns, but we don't have any browns. So, she may end up being blues. We'll see. I might just leave her gray and white. Because I'm kind of taking the gray and white. I do love shading with gray markers. It is a lot of fun. Um, just start lighter than you think you're going to need because um, sometimes I grab a gray and it's a lot darker than I wanted it to be. Ah, that's cool looking. Okay. Let's see. Alright, let's get in. Let's see. How can I layer these to look purpley? Pink. Blue. Not that. Maybe. Testing these out to see how they. Oh, there we go. That's that's a little better. That's intense, though. Do I like that? Do I want to go in with the blue first, and then the pink over the top? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that gives me more of the color that I want. Okay. first and then the pink over the top yeah to give me that purple that I'm looking for I think 
going to be reading as purple or pink? That's more blue. Should I use the lighter pink and the lighter blue? Oops. So confused. All right, let's go lighter. Let's use our two lightest ones and see how they do. Make sure we get brush. Okay, and it was blue first, right? A little bit of blue. And the pink over the top. Blue. And then the blue. That kind of gives me a muddy gray. I don't like that. If I want gray, I could just use gray. So not that one. So we'll go back to we'll go back to this one. So bright. So bright. That one. I think I like that one. do these. Alright. Let's be a little less exacting maybe. Okay. There. Oh, okay. There. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I dig that. Okay. I'll we'll come over here. And get this and layer that in like that. All right, okay, cool. A blender. I think I'm gonna leave a little bit of the blue and pink peeking through. I kind of dig that feel. I'm kind of like that with pink peeking through. Don't do that. Blue for the top, yeah, that's cool. Look 
good. And I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it. Seeing what happens. Kind of liking it. And then a little bit of purple on the edges of those. Just kind of peeking. Like that. Just little touches of color on these ones. Try not to get too much blue going on up here. Like that. Are we liking this? Is it neat or not really? Okay, let's, let's get these petals in and then we'll decide other stuff. single color of this blue over that pink seems to give me that purpley color that I want. If I don't go over it too much it doesn't get too dark. Man, my nose is all plucked up. It's so frustrating. These guys up like this. Little bits of pink on oh, the tips of all of those. Let's run through real quick and put the pink down. Like this. See if that, if it still works, like putting the pink in. And then the blue over the top after some time if it gives me the same colors I want. over it with this 
effect I kind of like all the colors bleeding through a lot I think I'm digging that looks like I painted an under layer you know and then went over the top of it with another and I've purposely let the, the other colors peek through here. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay. So let's put our covers back on our pinks. I wonder if I can make kind of a green color with the gray <coughs> and a blue. Okay, I didn't really want to do that anyway. So let's go with the super pale pink, I think. Come down. Over these white bits up there. I feel like I got it. Got it dirty. There we go. Like that. Yeah, like that. Okay, it should be like that. Kinda. Not terrible. Yeah, okay, there's that. This looks very busy down here, so I think I'll take our light gray, kind of just block these in. I'm kind of digging that, okay. Yeah, 
like that. Are we digging that? I think I am. Okay. Take our next darkest gray. Get some drama. Some little bit of drama. Darker gray and come down here over our blue on the shadowy areas like that. Right. How's that looking? Oh yeah. That looks cool. I don't think I'm gonna do much more than that. I kinda like it like that. Maybe just kinda scumble that along there. Take our light. Our, there's our piece. Um, let's move this paper out of the way. Did bleed through a little, but not bad. See, that's the other side. If you kept going and kept layering, you definitely would want to put something underneath. It didn't get too much debris on here. But there's our drawing. With all our tumble markers and our ink pens. Why don't you think of the comments below, you guys? Do you like this one? Do we like her? I do. I feel like I should put a little bit of. I'm on the wrong side. Like it's cold out. A little bit of smoke coming up. Like that. <laughs> some breath. <coughs> but yeah, there we go. There is our drawing with our Tombow markers on our marker paper. Not something I normally do, very out of my comfort zone, but a lot of fun. Um, and I've been getting into experimenting more with my art. Um, so yeah, this is right up my alley for the years. Um, experimental works. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think of this box? Was it, is it a box you would like or not really? Is it way too far outside your comfort zone? Um, or is it right up your alley? 
all right well i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for being here and uh, yeah bye